What's up, boys? We're back with some more of the Bullet Hell Weapon Specialist. I'm going to be hard focusing one of the early weapons I get that's really strong at shooting a lot of projectiles out to trigger the Weapon Specialist passive a lot. And then later on, I'm looking to grab the Weapon Box artifact to add a fifth weapon to the build. Hopefully something cool that fires a lot of projectiles. And then I'm also looking to grab the two artifacts that give you reload speed that scales with that. One of them is based on overclocks and one of them is based on the number of weapon tags that you have. But both of those work pretty nicely with the weapon box once you have a fifth weapon. But until then, we just have the weak lead storm that we have to make do with. I think I'll take the fire rate just to make it look cooler. And we can turn damage numbers on for a while. Might need to turn those back off later on, but we'll see when we get there. Magnet right on top of me. Rip. Ooh, lead burster. I was actually thinking about trying to get a run with that, since those are really insane with the massive reload speed you can get now. Nope. That's one of them, but it's too early for that, and we don't even have anything that can even mine for us. Piercing's not bad, but honestly, I'd really like to get some scanners like the Nitra Scanner. Reload speed. We need all the lead burster levels we can get. It is a bit weak early on, but it has fantastic balanced overclocks to help power it up. Like the triple grenade adds a ton of damage and a ton of projectiles as well. Another lead burster. I will say that I kind of dislike the balance overclock that gives you massive piercing on it, since it also reduces the duration a decent amount. It's still very good for AoE damage, I just don't really like lowering the duration. And it's usually strong enough that I don't have to take that, even if it is worth it. So I guess we'll probably be going for fire projectiles here on the lead burster. I guess we'll grab some piercing for that in case I need to focus them down a little bit. Which I probably will since the lead bursters don't do a whole lot right now. Lead burster damage or some fire rates. Yeah, sure. See if we can get some detonators on the flyer, he's still very healthy. Let Burster reload. Ooh, 
Ooh, they got all those resources down for me. Nice. Luck. Big fire rates, I will take that. Let's see. Ideally, I get something with the lasting tag so that I can add duration to the lead bursters. Stubby is not bad. I have to grab something good for the last slot. And it does apply some nice debuffs. Honestly, I think I'm fine with that. It'll make it a bit easier to hit something good later on. Might save me a bit of gold. Piercing into an overclock, and we got the triple. Very nice. Ooh, big damage. Paint job. Sure. Fire rates. Let's go with the fire rates here. If I get the artifacts I want, I'm going to have a massive amount of reload speed, so we'll need a ton of fire rate to pair with that. Grab a little bit of XP. Should be able to pick up a decent amount on the way back here. Lead burster. Ah, uh, fire rate into an overclock, sure. I guess we'll have to lower the fire rate on that one a bit. Grab some piercing for it, some movements. Ooh, gun platform, that's perfect. That gets me both lasting and projectile based stuff. And it's also extremely good with the weapon specialist passive. And it can potentially mine stuff as well. That's probably the best weapon I could have gotten there. Lasting some pickup. Need a bit of gold for reroll since we want to get levels for that and the lead burster. Lifetime, can't afford it, but I think I will lock that. I can not get two upgrades here, but some good piercing for that. If it was a good reload speed, I'd probably lock that as well. Maybe fire rate. But it's just scoring old damage, so I think I'm gonna pass on those. I kind of like to see if I can get the mining going for that. We do have the nitro scanner already, and then that will give me more weapon levels in the long run. Take some decent crits. Big fire rates for everything, sure. Gold or nitro or XP. Wow, this is like the dream choice. Let's go with gold so that we have some of that to pair with the nitra, and that's good for fire rates for the global upgrades. I'll take a bit of turn levels. I do want to see what we get on that one. Ooh. 
magnet right there. I barely avoided it. Paint job or lifetime? I do want to maximize my lifetime. Yes, some piercing here. Those are both pretty nice, but I really want to get the mining going with the two scanners already. Big gold or some pickup. Huh. Those are both pretty nice. This could help me pick up the resources that drop nearby. And I mainly need weapon levels right now. Maybe if it was a legendary Nitra there. Big fire rate. Probably have to head for the magnet pretty soon. He's getting low now. Definitely need some help with the mining right now. Another reload or some proj damage. I think my damage is high enough, I can go for the funnier stats now. Yes, the projectile damage there though. Reload into an overclock. Ooh, level 6 mining, nice. Bit of fire rate for that. Some nice crit chance, or some more reload. For faster turrets. Eh, it's a lot higher. And I do want to fully overclock everything eventually for the turbo encabulator. Interesting reroll. We can get a big reload on that. And I think that's worth it. Another fire rate, some pickup. Grab a bit of HP. Lifetime, lead burster. And I think I am going to pass on that. This would lower my damage a bit, because it would be harder to get kinetic, or it would, rather I wouldn't be able to get the damage type for my main weapon, but I could also change that one to fire, and that would look way cooler. I'll take a cheap level there, more fire rate and reload. It just looks so much cooler when you convert them to fire.
Let's grab the gun platform level. The sooner we get that up to level 18, the sooner I get turbocharged mining with the 150% fire rate overclock. Burster. As soon as those detonators go off, that should do most of the rocks here for me. More fire rates. Ooh, another nitrous scanner? Don't mind if I do. Burster. I will take a purple for that. Oh, actually at level 18 I can make the stubby electrify my gun platforms as well. I don't know if I've ever done that on gunner before since that's normally more of an engineer thing. Should be able to start getting a lot of upgrades now. Turrets are scaling up a decent amount, they have three scanners already. Kind of just trying to keep them alive and let the gun platforms do their mining job right now. down for a big paint job for that. Reload, paint job. Lead burster, paint job. We can go fire if I really want to push the damage. I do have kinetic available, so I may as well pick up. Let's shake it up. I don't think I want to put a ton of nitra into that one. Let's shake it up. Reload there's nice. Special. 
Fire rate's perfect for that. And I can go plasma for even faster mining. Those are both fire, so I don't even have a downside to that here. Fire rate. What else we got? Fire rate, reload. Probably should have grabbed that. Oh well. So now the shots will bounce around, mining off of walls on either side at the same time. We've got some nice projectile fire rate to scale that up on top of that. And my projectiles look really cool now with the glowing red and glowing purple. Fire damage, it's really good, but I don't need it. If I push my damage too high, then I'll just delete the elites instantly and I won't really have that much time to mine. And that's especially an issue once I get the lead burster up to level 18 because the favorite overclock on that will lower some of the stats of my other weapons as well. It's massively buffing my damage, so getting that overclock will make it a lot harder to mine out as well once I get there. Some nice movements. Take the level on that, I think. Try and get it closer to 18. Ah, uh, that's actually fine now that I have the turrets mining for me. And I really do want the triple combo with that, the weapon box, and the one that gives you reload speed based on the number of tabs you have overall, which is the multi tool, I think. I just. Don't really care about that. More fire rate. It does take me a while to actually make the hole for the turrets. So I can't actually really avoid the spray if I'm not careful. And I am completely dependent on the turrets to mine for me now. But still, I love that combo of three artifacts. I don't think I have any mining speed increases either. Minus 18%. History. I think I'll take another level for that. Let's push it one step closer. Get a little bit more resources here with the turrets. Reload movement, cheap reload for that. 
this was the one I wanted. I wanted to keep my damage low, but I think I still will grab that anyways. Paint job, lead burster. Yeah, we have to lower the fire rate of the gun platforms, and then this is going to have absolutely insane damage. Movements, more lead burster. Cheap reload, movements, cheap level, lead burster, movements, lead burster, fire rates, fire rates, reload, oh, not quite enough for that, lead burster. Might be faster for me to run around here. Uh, I think this is actually better. I do need to get all of the overclocks eventually, but the sooner we get the turrets fully overclocked, the better. If I can just bounce the plasma shots up between the gold and nitra, that'll get all of it pretty quickly. Paint job. I do like those to help me get the overclocks. Scanner that gives us all three of those, right? Yep. luck. Nice, we got the Dreadnought Twins, so I can probably keep them alive for a longer time since one of them will often get lower and then go get healed up by the other. Oh, there's a charge coming in. Have to be a bit careful with that. It'll be kind of wasted later on, but fire rate's super nice. They're probably going to die there. Both of them are almost even. More lead burster.
I could go for extremely low mining speed for the lulls, since I don't think I've increased that any. Just have the turrets do everything they can. XP, lead burster, fire rates. Show me more. Let me try again. Reload, lead burster. Surely next time will be better. Fire rates. Let's shake Lifetime. Get a reload there. You know the drill, miner. Fulfill your objectives. Let's get out of here. Burster. We're gonna try and get the absolute maximum level on that one as well with all this nitra. Gold scanner? Yup. Get a nice tight little area for the plasma turrets to bounce around. Lead burster. The drop pod is about to leave. Get your ass moving, miner. That elite never stood a chance. I will see to it there is a beer on the house when you make it back. If you make it back. Movement, a little bit of survivability, some reload for the gun platform. Fire rates, cheap reload for that. Cheap reload, some survivability, Show me more. movement Top pickup, more lead burster, movement I fire rates, Surely next time will be better. fire I rates, one of these. that's 17, don't really need that, what else we got? lifetime, of this rare cheap level to grab that, and we do have to take the overclock even though it reduces this fire rate and reload for the encabulator since you need equipped overclocks for that. Might need to save a bit of gold to actually get the weapon levels with 309 Nitra. I just felt like I needed some extra survivability since that one detonator I didn't see did like half of my HP there.
I might need to turn damage numbers off now, so I can see stuff. Reload speed. Sneaky detonator right behind the wall over there. That is so much damage, and it's probably going to make me kill stuff too fast, but oh well. 274% crit chance. I don't really care about any of these, I think, so I might as well just take the HP then. Actually, almost mined out the entire level, even though my damage is super high. And I have been skipping some of the gun platform levels just to push the lead burster as high as possible. Gun platform. I think I'm fine on movement now. Lifetime. Pick up. Gun platform stuff that helps at mine. Lifetime. XP. Lead burster. Luck. Lead burster. Fire rates. Big pick up. Some lifetime. Fire rate and reload. Oh, there's a cheap level to finish that one off. We have Stormy or Massive Fire Rate. That will probably trigger the passive more often, I would think. Lead Burster, pick up. More fire Rate. More uh, don't care about any of these, I think. So I'm down to minus 50% mining speed. We just need to get the weapon box to overclock another weapon now. Level 35 lead burster, and there's still a few stages to go. More reload. Could get some more reload speed with that. There's gold and XP scanners left. 
and the artifacts that I really want. The weapon box plus the thing that scales with that. Nah. Actually, coupons are really good now. XP scanner. Probably not this late. I'll take that to amplify all the shop purchases. Trying to like lay a few turrets nearby so that it'll destroy all the rocks and then I can come back and collect them later. Turret fire rates. But yeah, with all that crit, the elites are just melting now. That's 404% crit chance. Let's see, elites are out. I have barely any time left. Actually, can't even see that on the minimap. There we go. Lead burster. Let me try again. Fire for that. Double lead burster. Nope. Try again. I want another go. Reload. What else we got? Fire rates. Show me more. Reload. Nothing for me here. Lead burster. Some pickup XP. That's one. damage. Nothing for me here. Lead burster. Piercing Don't actually might help that out a, a little bit. Nothing for me here. Reload. Fire rates. Lead burster. Mm, what else? Reload. Lead burster. Oh, fire rate. That works as well. So I basically have to hit the weapon box on this level to actually be able to get some decent levels on it with only one shot left. But I don't think I've seen it a single time yet this run. Weapon box. I need more reload speed. Pickled Nitra, I'll probably fail that. No weapon box, rip. Up. Never stood a chance. 
502% crit chance. Level 42 lead burster. Fire rates. Actually, this is the final stage. I don't really need to improve the gun platform anymore. And we can also pump the damage now. Fire rate, lead burster. Big fire rate, lead burster. But yeah, fire damage is pretty good now as well. Good chance. Reload. Don't care about those. Big fire damage. Some lifetime. And we're out of rerolls. Level 48 with 464% crit chance. as well turn the damage numbers back on since everything should just melt now. Level 49, 17 piercing without the triple overclock for that. 535 fire rate. Their reload time is actually pretty slow. Huh. 1.04 on a level 49 weapon. It's actually the last egg up there, so that's going to instantly bring the bosses out. Oops. Well, guess they're dead. He died while the melee one was at 50% HP. Never even saw the weapon box. The long lasting elemental gunner. Extremely cool looking with both the fire and the plasma conversions. Insane fire rate. Multiple of the passive triggers per second. 277% reload speed. 589% crit chance. Minus 50% mining speed. Three nitro scanners plus the powder. Two gold scanners and the encabulator with four fully overclocked weapons. Cubons came a bit late, but still got me a little bit extra from the shop. We got the super cool combo of fire bullets plus cluster grenades to make them look as silly as possible. And we got the very rare mining plus plasma combo to make those mine out extremely quickly, even though I wasn't focusing them for the run. Extra 3 million burn damage? No, that's not correct because a lot of the damage here is kinetic. So I would have to add up like all of the kinetic weapons and then subtract them from that. But the gun platform was also kinetic for a while. So that is way beyond me in such a short time frame. 55 million plasma, 57 on the fire. Huh, the gun platforms actually did more damage as well. Guess the bounces are doing a lot of work there. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.